It's time to build the final ride here at Ocean Bay Studios. Welcome to episode 19 of Let's Play Planet Coaster here on Theme Park Worldwide. And you're still joined by me, Sean Sandbrook, where today we're going straight in and building my Indiana Jones themed ride, which is going to be a Mack water coaster. Straight in just here, no messing about by going in there, building the station, the lift hill, that first drop just there, and upwards into a 360 degree helix where it'll go up and then back down and pass underneath the track just there. Uh, now it's not going to be a ridiculously long ride because I've not got that really uh, much space around uh, this front area of the park to build it. Uh, but a main section of the ride, which is the coaster section, is going to take place just there uh, around the monorail turnaround section. Obviously it causes uh, quite a nice little bit of interaction doesn't it? And there's a, a good view when you come around on the monorail there when you've been in the park all day and you'll get to uh, pass through the ride just there which is quite nice. Uh, as you can see Lots of sort of putting bits of track in, then thinking, oh, actually, let's move it out a little bit and changing little bits here and there. Um, but yeah, it's the final ride to build in this park, episode 19. One more episode left to go uh, of this park because then I'll be straight in uh, after that to uh, building my vintage park, which is going to be the next project. So we're going to episode one of the vintage park uh, very shortly. So yes, in the next episode, in number 20, it's going to be a bit of an overview of this park and also decorating it up for the Christmas season as well. Obviously, Planet Coaster does have a Christmas pack uh, with all sorts of stuff in uh, that was included for free with the game. Um, so yeah, we're going to be uh, putting lots of that decor in. Uh, you've got all the Christmas trees, wreaths, uh, garland. It's going to be a bit of a classy Christmas around the entrance, especially with it being a... Uh, I like all that studio-style theming, what they put up uh, at Universal Studios actually in Florida uh, where they put all the wreaths and garlands and everything up uh, quite a classy Christmas so we're going to go with that but then there'll be some areas where I might do a bit of an Osborne spectacle of dancing lights if you ever saw that at Walt Disney World unfortunately I never got to experience that uh, because I just didn't go in time to see it and then when I was going to go they ended up saying oh that's it they're stopping it after however many years it ran for so basically there's this massive Christmas display um, in, in America and it got too big for the street Street, that they had to stop doing it and then Disney turned around and said hey you can, you can come and put your Christmas lights up here and then they sort of took it on so to speak and, and ran it under their name as the Osborne uh, Family Spectacle of Dancing Lights which looked absolutely amazing it was held in Hollywood Studios around the streets of America um, which is all that's been demolished now actually only a little bit of that remains which forms part of Grand Avenue which is just the entrance area to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge which will be opening next year but yes God not long to go now I mean we're in December uh, moving into 2019 shortly and yeah we've got so much planned here on Theme Park Worldwide basically in January that's the time where we start to book things up ready for that year basically so in January I'll sit down uh, me and, and, and the others will sit there and think right where do we want to go what do we want to do and then start to plan it all and then sort of in February time is when we announce our plans to all of you guys so yeah it's going to be really interesting to see what we uh, uh, come up with for next year and I'm looking forward to it, it's going to be a big year, uh, of course yeah into December now your advent calendars uh, what advent calendar have you got, comment below on this video, uh, you know are you looking forward to Christmas, are you not a big fan of Christmas are you just waiting for the theme park season to kick in I'd love to see your comments down below on this video as you can see just here, I'm uh, just putting in the queue line and finished the, the track just there. Just going around and using the smoothing tool now to really smooth this out because it's some like water coasts themselves, even in person, they do look a little bit uh, skewiff in places. Uh, I think of the one that I did at Energy Landia. Uh, that's an Intamin version, but yeah, that uh, looks just looks a bit skewiff some of the track in places. Poseidon at Europa Park, that's another one. And that yeah, you know, in places they just look a bit. Uh, you know, just don't look right some of the track but really I don't want it to look too much uh, like that in the game so I've just used the smoothing tool and I'll take it for a POV at the end so what I start to do here is build this huge show building which goes around the drop section in that little mid course section there uh, which is going to have all sorts of theming inside at this point I wasn't too sure on how I wanted the building to look so I actually changed this a little bit later on but I'll start off now uh, by putting up uh, the same sort of wall to the rest of the Mediterranean area that I've done however I actually changed this into more uh, like bricks a little bit later on um, so yeah I do put a roof and stuff on here and you see it disappear uh, later in the episode 
uh, when I decided to change that up a bit. I think once I built the station area, because I sort of do this now and then move on to the station area um, for, for this ride uh, and change the colour of the track and stuff, I start to think actually it just doesn't look quite right. Uh, how, how it was so it was a, a more a matter of changing that but uh, yeah I keep that initial shape that you can see there anyway in terms of names so uh, as I mentioned uh, these couple of episodes so 18 and 19 have both been pre-recorded before going out on holiday uh, because I've been out in Disneyland Paris and Europa Park where I currently am in Germany uh, whilst you're watching this and uh, yeah so it was a matter of pre-recording them so I need the names for the sci-fi area you can still keep suggesting them on this episode uh, but then the next episode I'll reveal the names uh, what you chose for that booster bike in the sci-fi area the Enterprise the area it's Self. I need the name for the hotel as well. The monorail, I think he's just going to be called the monorail, uh, unless you can think of anything a bit more imaginative. Uh, and then, of course, I need a name for this. It all forms part of the same themed area. Uh, it's still a branch out of the Mediterranean area. And I want some sort of storyline for this. It is Indiana Jones. You can see I'm starting to put a bit of the theming in now around the area. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have this plane just here, like a crashed plane. Uh, there's then going to be a couple of Jeeps and stuff around. You're going to go end up in this uh, temple that you'll see a little bit later on with all sorts of animatronics and special effects in there. So yeah, like going through a ruin with that. I'm thinking lo loads of scaffolding and stuff. So I just need you guys to come up with uh, a name for this one. Obviously, Indiana, something to do with Indiana Jones, like Indiana Jones and the... Uh, XYZ, you know, whatever you come up with. So yeah, let's get your suggestions coming in and then we'll have a big name reveal in the final episode for all these projects, these, what, five or six different projects that I've done will all need naming. And of course, I'll be back from my trip then. Um, so I'll uh, start work on the next park before going out to uh, Eftelian and Fantasialand where I'm going out there uh, with a couple of friends, going with Alex, of course, and also Brett. He did make a bit of an appearance when we went uh, over to Fun Spot in Kissimmee in Florida and also when we went uh, on the World's Tallest Star Flyer as well. So, you know, it's uh, yeah, going to be really good to do a proper trip with Brett. He lives over in the States, but he's coming over to see some of his family here in the UK. And uh, yeah, come on a, a trip with us out to Europe, which I'm sure is going to be great. And it's actually Alex and Brett's first time going to Fantasyland and Eftelin. So it'll be the first time on the likes of Baron 1898, Taron, Symbolica, all their other great rides at both of them parks. And it's my first time going in winter season to Eftelin. Uh, and I have done the, the winterum event before at Fantasyland. So it's going to be great. Can't wait. Really excited for that. And that's coming up starting uh, in a couple of weeks on the 14th. That's starting here on Theme Park worldwide leading us straight into Christmas of course Christmas continues as well with lots of other videos we kicked it off a few weeks back now at Stoke on Trent Winter Wonderland Hyde Park Winter Wonderland has been online vlogs from there and just videos in general from the event uh, and so much more as well and then straight into Disneyland Paris from Christmas Europa Park where I did my solo trip uh, and then, uh, yeah, moving on with that and, and so much more. Also over on my second channel, Adventure Sean, I've done quite a few of the Christmas markets, Christmas light switch-ons, and there's a lot more to come from that in the next week and a half to two weeks. So stay tuned for all of that. Uh, and I'd really appreciate it if you go and check the channel out. It's called Adventure Sean. So go over there and see it. Uh, we've got 10,000 subscribers on that channel already. So thank you to everyone uh, that has subscribed and took the time to watch some of the videos on there. Uh, it certainly is a bit different. I know a lot of you guys are enjoying seeing a bit more away from theme parks as well as this. Of course, still the daily uploads on Theme Park Worldwide, but with it being winter, I've got a lot more time to launch that channel as well uh, with Adventure Sean. And be sure to follow my new personal Instagram account where I do a lot of other uh, stuff away from theme parks. Just give us a follow at Sean Sandbrook. Right, back to the uh, ride just here that we're building. As you can see, lots of landscaping going in now. We've got these massive branches, these big roots uh, that I'm putting in there. They're like sort of big like palm tree, oak, oak tree style roots what I've put in down there. Just a bit fit with uh, Indiana Jones. I mean, what's made me put all these in? A bit sort of like that idea, like a Mexican Mayan style temple, what's sort of overgrown all these roots and everything. And I want you guys to think about that with the storyline to this. For sort of all the theming I've put together, I mean, I, I've got full confidence in all of you that watch these videos. Like, you come up with some amazing names, hundreds of comments come in on each episode with people suggested names and everything. And obviously, if your names get selected by me, I, I just sit here and I read all the comments and I get a Word document up and I'll literally 
just put my favourite ones in and then start to whittle them down, you see, and think, actually, I prefer that one or that one fits with the theme better and, and stuff. So, yeah, like, get your names coming in. You'll get a cheeky shout-out. And in the next episode, we'll uh, put all that together, which I'm sure will be absolutely fantastic. And I can't wait to, uh, to share that with you guys in episode 20. As you can see here, uh, just working on that station building now. Just making sure that it all fits around there. Uh, it's going to be a fully enclosed station, only the entrance and exit for the ride there, and also the uh, queue line uh, that will be in there. We're not having any archways or anything on it. Uh, and this is going to be like a smaller temple where you'll start your adventure with Indiana Jones. And of course, you'll make your way up that lift hill and straight down into the big drop and that upwards helix. So you can see here, uh, just putting the details in, then I have to move the station across a little bit, just so it fits where I wanted it to go. And you can see now with the monorail that I built back in episode 18, uh, you know, it just fits really nicely on there now. This whole area, the park in the past three episodes, it's all just come together. There was little bits with gaps and stuff. And obviously there was that, that little bit on the tram tour that I took out a couple of episodes back where originally I was going to do some more with it, but I decided to use it more for the sci-fi area. And just, it's all come together. The entrance looks complete now. There's not the massive gaps at the front next to the coaster because the hotel's there and the car parks and that sci-fi area's finished off back to the future. All that right-hand side where the lake is, we built the Wild West area. Honestly, the past sort of four episodes, I would say, it's, it's completely changed the park and it's put it all together. It feels a lot bigger, it feels more complete, and it's got that resort feel now as well with the monorail, car parks, the hotel, the improved entrance. I'm really liking this park and uh, I think it's been a big step up in terms of the details on this park compared to uh, Volcano Springs. I mean, you look at some of the buildings in Volcano Springs, they were a lot more simple than what I've done here. Um, but yeah, I'm really chuffed with how this has all come together. Um, this water coaster, I must say, as, as we progress through the episode, the amount of details and theming on it, it really looks nice. And I enjoy these rides in general. I think uh, they ride really well. Poseidon at Europa Park is great. I wish there was a little bit more theming around the ride, and I want to make sure that the entire ride has got scenery around it. Like I say, we've got some sort of construction going on uh, with the temple when we get further around the ride. Um, but yeah, like I, I'm just really pleased with how it's all come together. I'd like to do some more with this adventure pack though, um, because I really do like this. I feel like the adventure pack has got uh, a lot of potential. And I think as much as this isn't a dark ride, a big Indiana Jones dark ride of some sort would definitely go down well in the future as well in an episode no matter where it might be or say i do go for like a a world showcase epcot style part that i'd like to uh, and start that soon then you know maybe it could fit in with that maybe in like a mexico area and have like all these booby traps and stuff like that you know uh, it reminds me of talikin at Fantasyland, that sort of thing you know because uh, the audio on there actually goes like it's a booby trap uh, it's just them classic quotes, isn't it, from like Indiana Jones and stuff. Uh, I love it. Talking of Indiana Jones whilst we're building this ride, who's watched the Indiana Jones epic stunt spectacular in Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World? Because I absolutely love that show. Uh, there is highlights from it, actually. If you watch our vlogs from uh, Walt Disney World, I mean, me and Alex went to see it again when we were there back in September. But I filmed it on a few different occasions now on the trips that I've had. Uh, out to Florida. Well, four times I've been to Florida and my fifth time going next year with Charlotte, uh, my girlfriend and also the admin of Theme Park Worldwide who looks after the messages uh, on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, yeah, like me and Charlotte are going out to Florida next year and it's her first ever time going to Walt Disney World. It's a, a, a second ever uh, Disney resort because she's only done Disneyland Paris. And uh, yeah, first ever time in the USA as well. So a big shout out to anybody watching over in the United States of America. We'll be coming to see you again. Uh, well, on a couple of different occasions next year if all goes to plan. Uh, but obviously me and Charlotte will be over for our trip. Uh, in September and we'll be doing Halloween Horror Nights uh, for all of that because Charlotte obviously loves Halloween. We both love Halloween, hence why we did so much Halloween stuff on the channel this year. Uh, and, and yeah, like we're going to be doing so much out there. Do Bush Gardens, take her there. Uh, SeaWorld, of course, all the Disney parks, Universal. And she's a massive fan of Harry Potter and we'll get to ride the new Harry Potter roller coaster, hopefully. I mean, I think that's going to open maybe May, June sort of time. Uh, definitely in time for the summer rush in the holidays. And um, with how the construction's coming on with that, it's really progressed a lot. So 
Uh, I'm really hoping that uh, we're going to get that and, and I'm pretty sure we will. I'm 99.9% sure we are going to get that new coaster, uh, which looks great. Manufactured by Intamin. It's got like a vertical spike on it, loads of launches, indoor sections like Hagrid's Hut and oh, apparently we're going to go through the Great Hall and stuff in it as well. It looks absolutely amazing and I can't wait to ride it. So here we can see I've gone back to that large building that I said, you know, I was making some changes to. There's the roof at the moment. That comes off because this doesn't look right because you do this in Planet Coaster, don't you? You put bits in and you think, actually, oh, now I've built that. It doesn't look right. And yeah, originally this was going to follow the same sort of style as the other Mediterranean buildings. Uh, even though it's uh, Indiana Jones, I wanted it to look similar. But then I thought, no, 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 no. Let's change it up. Let's have it look like a proper abandoned sort of temple uh, a massive show building there and we're gonna have loads of effects and stuff in there as well as you'll see in a couple of minutes time it's all about layers i always speak about layers but just building them up this has definitely got more layers than i normally would use uh, where obviously i've got the, uh, the the base underneath and i've just built this around it i mean you don't need to do that i've only done it like i say because originally it was going to be something else what you can normally do there is literally just use them blocks that i've used on the outside to build it up you don't need to of course put the uh, layer in underneath but they are it's a bit more realistic i suppose the building's got insulation there we go <laughs> even though we're in quite a warm climate you know we've got insulation uh, but there you go <laughs> i love it and um, so yeah that's it that's uh, all coming together nice on the front just there uh, like I say, in terms of a mix of all the trees and stuff around it as well, uh, we've got the palm trees and stuff which are all thematic, they've been planted, they're not like natural palm trees, all the natural trees in this park, like the big uh, ones, like the big spruce trees and all them, don't you just love, I mean Roller Coaster Tycoon for me still does it when it comes to naming trees, like they probably went to detail there didn't they, like calling them all different things, and I know they have in Planet Coaster but I just loved them classic names with uh, like Montezuma Pine Tree and stuff like that, you know what you used to get, and name in Roller Coaster Tycoon. you got to thank Roller Coaster Tycoon because I don't think we'd have ever got Planet Coaster to be honest if it wasn't for that. The original uh, is amazing, so is Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Never fell in love with 3, I didn't really like it at all. And you know, and obviously I've not played the mobile version, but I'd like to know, comment below, what is your favourite version of Roller Coaster Tycoon? And in general, what's your favourite theme park simulation game? Uh, for me, of course, it's Planet Coaster. I know a lot of people like No Limits as well. I just never got into No Limits. I think more, you know, because it's mainly designing the coasters, isn't it? Like, I like doing the experiences and putting all the theming around, if you've not guessed already from some of these episodes. Um, but yeah, as we make it into the final sort of five minutes of, of episode 19, our second to last episode of this park, it's starting to get a bit emotional now that it, it's coming to an end. And as much as there's a lot more space here, while I could have built more stuff, I didn't want this park to be huge. I wanted it to still uh, to be quite small. Obviously, when you start doing parks too huge as well, uh, the game does start to lag quite a lot. And you'll notice that uh, when I show you a POV of this near the end, like, you know, the frames per second's gone right down. I'd rather uh, move move on to the next part but at least this one's been finished off how I originally intended uh, with Volcano Springs I was sort of forced to end it uh, because of uh, the game itself and, and it's starting to, to lag a lot however by doing a smaller park it means that it's going to be running a lot better uh, which I've noticed uh, throughout the gameplay this time so just as you can see here on the turnaround section there where you've got the helix and then it goes right back down and uh, into the helix at the bottom and then up again. Uh, really quite intense section of the ride actually. You'll get some good air time when you come back round there uh, onto that little hill. Uh, we've just got this big section going in. No relevance really, just a, a massive structure just to add some theming around it really. Uh, else it does look a bit bland without anything there, wouldn't it, in such a big space. Uh, this is going to be like, it's some sort of temple what's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm feeling like with the storyline what you guys come up with with this it's like something about restoration and all these buildings that have been restored but indiana jones has had to go in there for some reason you know so think about that with your storyline i'll be picking the best one in the next episode um so yeah just loads of scaffolding stuff going on here like you know restorations taking place and all this it's an old uh, ancient ruin and and the workers are having to go in there and they've pulled this scaffolding round as you can see here a lot of it's fallen into rubble 
and that's why I'm putting all the rubble uh, piles down there and also the rocks underneath as well mixed in with the scaffolding uh, and it just looks really good I think with the monorail going through it as well it, it just means that uh, as the monorail goes through it uh, you know when you leave the park you're just going to get a really nice view over that section as well uh, but yeah I'm really pleased that it's all coming together in a moment we'll start on the uh, indoor section after I've just done more of the scaffolding here and a bit more landscaping on the outside here as well now just talking about uh, the next park I'm going to be doing yet again the, the vintage park let's just talk a little bit about that so what rides I'm really going to want to put in there obviously some classic wooden coasters and things but then I'd like to sort of not take it ultra model with like massive B&M coasters and stuff but you know start to modernise it up maybe like an Arrow Looper and, and Vekoma and that sort of thing like a classic ghost train uh, obviously in the last series when I did uh, a haunted house it was using the trackless dart ride uh, an ultra modern style ghost train i'd like to do a proper old school ghost train which would be quite nice some other old school rides maybe like a fun house and stuff you know it'd be quite nice um, but yeah again get your suggestions coming in for that one just a couple of minutes to go then left in this episode uh, and we'll take you for a POV of this uh, new ride that I've put in just here. Just finishing off now with this indoor section at the top. The only section uh, of dark ride on this. There could have been a bit more dark ride maybe but I didn't want to do too much at the end of the day. Uh, I don't want the storyline to be too like heavily reliant on the dark ride at the end of the day it is a water coaster uh, you know it's a water ride where you're going to get wet aren't you? you know when you go down the drop and stuff so I don't think it needed too much uh, indoors I didn't want to do a Valhalla for this one I don't think it was needed uh, in this case to do a Valhalla and have loads of indoor stuff I'll tell you what though you could do an amazing recreation of Valhalla using all of this theme in here especially then the logs just there it's identical to the one on Valhalla obviously it doesn't move along the floor like that but it rolls above you uh, it would be just about getting that effect right and, uh, and doing that. Here it's all the spikes, all these vines that I'm adding in on the walls and on the ceiling in there as well to make it look like this temple what's just been left overgrown and, and, and no one's been in there for a long time. But then all of a sudden, oh, it's come to life. How come everything's moving again? That sort of uh, feel that we've got. And again, we've got these large roots going in just here as well. And the uh, fire torches inside as well. But yeah, I'm really pleased with how it looks with this one. It's all coming together nicely. You'll see a little shot. I turn the lights off in a second and uh, we go and see it at night and it looks really good in there uh, in low light conditions. Um, but yeah, here we go. We're just a, about a minute away from seeing an on-ride POV of this water coaster. The yet unnamed Indiana Jones water coaster. Obviously, it's got to have Indiana Jones in there somewhere as the name. But get your suggestions coming in. In the next episode, like I say, we'll reveal the name for all the stuff in the sci-fi area. The hotel that I built in the last episode episode and the water coaster that I've done just here as well and I'll be back uh, shortly within the week for episode 20 the final episode of this park ocean based studios what an episode uh, series it's been all these episodes 20 different videos building this park and what an adventure it's been absolutely fantastic of course thank you to all of you guys for all of your suggestions for rides and names and themes and storylines honestly you've done such an amazing job and here we are looking out over the park there 20 episodes uh, in it by the time it's finished and you know what I really feel like this is the best part that I've done in Planet Coaster I'm really pleased with it and thank you very much for watching I'll see you in episode 20 and here we go let's go for a POV on the yet to be named Indiana Jones ride here at Ocean Bay Studios I'll see you in the next video enjoy the ride